the function I decided to do today would be converting cups to ounces. I thought of this because sometimes there's just ounces listed on recipes and there's not really an ounces option that you can use. So I decided cups would be a pretty good conversion. So I made a function question three pi file and this is where I'm actually gonna write my function. So I define what my function is gonna do and it's gonna convert cups to ounces. I then actually define the function and call it convert cups to ounces, cups parm. Cups parm is a parameter, so it's going to bounce back and forth within the function and be used. So the first uh, function I have is cups parm equals float. This is going to allow the user to input an integer later on when we actually execute it. And then have ounces equals cup parm times eight. Here, cups parm is going to basically store the amount of cups that the user entered and multiply by eight, which is the conversion listed on Google. Then it's gonna to return to me the answer from the function. So I did an exterior function, which means I have to make another pi file. So I converted cups to ounces pi. When you do this, you have to import the functions from the first pi file you made. You have to say what your function's doing, which is convert cups to ounces. I then have cups input equals raw input. And it's going to ask the user to enter the amount of cups that they want to convert. The next part is going to have the float again, which is going to store the amount of cups that the user inputted. Then here's where the function comes together and actually executes. And then finally, it's going to give me the answer to the function. So let's do Python. It's going to ask me for cups, let's put 5, and multiply it by 8, and it'll be 40.